one two for me it's your boy mr key issues welcome back to my channel keys to everything all right so today we're going to be talking about high republic yes that hot star wars book that just dropped not too long ago everybody and their mom scrambled to go pick this up and for good reason there's a lot of Star Wars fans that pick this up knowing exactly what they're getting into or what they could potentially be getting into. But there's also a lot of people out there that pick this book up not knowing exactly what they bought. And that's cool, because today, I'm going to let y'all know. You had a fear of missing out. You picked up Star Wars The High Republic. Brand new Marvel comic book set in an era that has been untouched by Disney or Marvel. Exciting, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. Exciting. The only bad part is all the cool stuff that happens in Star Wars takes place well before this High Republic era. Side note, for those who don't know, the High Republic era comes hundreds of years before our beloved movies, which is cool, which is cool. Also, for those who don't know, that era of Star Wars is the most boring era ever nothing and when i mean nothing i mean nothing happens it's like watching paint dry we have the old republic that shit was the bee's knees a time when the sith were strong when there was strife in the universe when there was struggle the jedi were fighting <sighs> then we have the high republic era a time of mainly peace, a time of prosperity, and total control by the Jedi. Doesn't really make for a cool story at all. So, if you pick this up, you took a gamble. Because it is now Marvel's job to make that High Republic era cool again. And I picked up a few copies. Because I have a little bit of faith in this. Just a little bit. All my comic book fans and collectors that aren't a fan of Star Wars, this is a key issue, undoubtedly. We got many first appearances. We have a series set in an untouched era by Marvel, which is pretty cool. However, the true winners of this series will most likely be those collectors and those who have key issues from the Old Republic. You see, without the Old Republic, the Jedi and their prosperity would not exist in the High Republic. For instance, this series will probably make a few references to the past. Let's be real, there's going to be one new young Jedi that's going to roll up on Yoda and ask, how come there's, there's no Sith in the universe? How come there's so few? And Yoda's ultimately going to have to explain, hey, there was a Darth Bane who made a rule of two, which means that there can only be one Sith Master and one Sith Apprentice, and that happened in the Old Republic era. So as soon as this series references something like that, those collectors are definitely going to reap the benefits, as all the hype and all the heat from that one small little reference is going to make their books skyrocket. So if you have those issues, be prepared for a few spikes in the comic book market. Side note, if you can find the first appearance of Darth Bane for like cheap, I'd probably pick that up because the rule of two is pretty important. Who else can benefit from this series? Well, obviously, those that picked up the first issue with all these key appearances. But I know some people are banking on a future Star Wars TV show and or project from Disney. Now, with hardly any source material and with the hype of the Mandalorian, some people think that maybe the new The High Republic show is going to be fire. It's going to be hype. Uh, need I remind you of Disney's... One of the greatest Star Wars movies of all time. The Last Jedi. Oh, that movie was awful. That was, that was awful. Unfortunately, that's just one example of Disney just trying to go off on their own and ultimately kind of failing in the Star Wars universe. The Mandalorian 
has plenty of source material. It's set in a time that we know, we love, centers around a race that Star Wars fans have always been interested in. This, not so much. So it is up to Marvel in this series to really set precedent from here on in and make this era as best as they can. In short, I do not have the most faith in this upcoming show. Without great source material, without any massive enemy to the Jedi, because the Sith in this era are nowhere to be found. What we might get is slight, when I mean slight rumblings of a young sheep. That's about it. Remember, this era is set well before Anakin can even dream about killing younglings. If you have multiple copies, I'd probably flip one or two right now while the iron is hot, while the hype is there. Because ultimately, this is looking like a long-term long spec. The sh TV show or the Disney series is really just going off the hype that was made by The Mandalorian. If you're waiting till the show drops, the Disney project drops, I probably would sell it right as soon as the first trailer hits. Ultimately, this is a long-term spec. Mr. Key Issues is very, and I mean very interested to see where this series is going to go. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. May the Force be with you, Dupe Army. Mr. Key Issues is out.